What's going on YouTube? It's Carbine Joey and I'm back with another video. So I'm just wishing everybody blessings. Um, nasty weather outside, raining, really not much to do. Um, so I'm just going to mess around with this uh, holster I have. It's from Warrior Land. It's for my 9mm uh, EZ uh, Performance Center version. So I already put, you know, tape, painter's tape in certain spots. It's just something to mess around with. So I already gave it a first, a base coat because it's just the regular way that the um, holsters come. It's not, you know, no special designs or nothing on there. So I put a base coat. This is going to try to mess around with some cam, uh, camouflage, um, two-time ultra coverage. This is going to mess around with it see what I can get out of it figured you know I'm just a regular dude I ain't got no um, I'm not gonna put four or five different colors I don't go hunting um, so it's just something to mess around with so I figured I'd just take y'all along with me on the little journey and see how this comes out so I'll be pausing the video here and there so it can dry um, so I'm just gonna give it a couple of uh, sprays want it to be too dark and so I'm gonna have to hit that with uh, my blower here so that way it, it'll dry faster then I can do the other side too much heat would make the paint take too long to dry just the around you know the right amount of heat will help it dry pretty quick so you see that's already basically dry so see here that should give it a thing I don't want to spray it here on the inside because that's where the, it's already polished inside where it keeps the fire on from getting uh, you know marks and stuff like that so figure that should uh, do pretty good let's see throw some more heat on here you know there's different ways of doing this you can go ahead and uh, put uh, leaves on it you know you can take uh, the twigs from the trees and lay them across I've done that uh, to a firearm and I will show you I did it to a, uh, a mountain for a scope of mine so it's nothing major I didn't want it to be like just two different colors so that little bit of sprinkle there that's gonna make it look pretty good and when I take all this off it'll look um, pretty good and go in going there I didn't want to get too much in there cuz I want it just to look you know sprinkly so I used to, I'll go a little further out. So a little bit of touch in there. So I'm going to let it dry, come back, and we'll take the uh, tape off and see what we got. These things are not expensive. They're like six bucks at Walmart. You could get the green and do a whole bunch of different stuff on it. But this is inside the waistband. Who's going to see it anyway? So it's just something to mess around with today. I'm going to be making another video of my MMP Shield 9mm Plus. Talk about that. And alright, so let's see what how it's going to come on in a few minutes. Alright YouTube, so it dried up a little bit. I decided to throw some more black on it. I have some uh, two times of coverage, rust -oleum. I think this is very very good paint also like i said this is a warrior land it's an extremely good holster i don't know why they're so inexpensive because i got four of these for different firearms and i've never had one issue with them they're very good holsters like very inexpensive on amazon i think i paid uh 21 dollars and i just got it so it's brand new this one is so I'm just going to go ahead and throw some sprinkles on it. 
just a darken up thing. I hope none of this stuff gets on my, that's why I got it all uh, covered. Hope none of it gets on my American flag. I should have removed it, but I doubt anything get on there. So it gave it a little uh, darker. I got to get a better light. So it gave it a nice, nicer uh, camouflage look to it. Which, like I said, this is inside the waistband. So who is going to actually see this? But it's something to play around with on a Sunday morning when the weather outside sucks. So I'm going to throw some heat on it and then take the uh, tape off. I don't want to make the video extremely long. So, as long as you don't put too much heat, you put too much heat, you can actually warp the kydex. So it's just basically just uh, um, dry it up a little faster than normal, but you don't want to get it too hot, but then you can warp it and then it's going to actually be going form to the gun right so that's enough now what I also I was thinking about doing is once I take this tape off I was thinking about getting some tree limbs you know, real small sticks and then just shooting it across but like I said it's just something for me to play around with I'm going to let it cool down before I take the tape off and then we'll see what we got I'll be right back all right, so it should be pretty dry. It's only been like literally five minutes, so start taking these little pieces of tape off. Hopefully I don't scratch it. And on this thing, you know, the holster was like 20 bucks and I'm still gonna throw a little bit more paint on these parts that I took off here just so they're not so you know they don't stand out so much now I'm also thinking about if I should put like some kind of clear coat on it so it doesn't uh, the paint doesn't rub off on the inside of my pants so I may do that you know just just trying to give it a shield so that way the paint, if it's hot and I'm sweating, I'm not sure if the paint will rub off, but it's good paint. Rust-Oleum, it takes a lot of heat, so it shouldn't rub off on me, on my clothes. I think that's the only part that I had tape on. And there's another little piece here. There's another little piece right here. So some of them got like jagged edges. So it looks kind of looks kind of cool to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot it with some more paint on top. I don't see any um, any thing that I I left out. But uh, leave me in the comments what you think. You know how far it looks. We're just gonna mess around and throw some more paint on it real quick. Alright, so here I'm just gonna do it from far away. Pray to God I don't get on my desk. Just to minimize the shiny black that's on it. Oh, that was a little bit too much there. Let's give it a Better camouflage look. I almost covered that one up. Oh, it went away. So, gives it a better contrast look. So, I'm going to go ahead and mess around and throw a little bit of more black on there. Of course, you, people realize that it's, you know, made. I made it. It ain't going to look uh, professional. But, like I said, it's Sunday. It's raining. So there's the finished product. Not too bad for a $29, $22 holster. And I've had the paint for my different other type of firearms. You know? So if you're bored, you need a holster, just go to Amazon and get, it's called Warrior Land. They're very, very inexpensive. They're like $20. Sometimes if you go to the field and put used, 
you know, I see them up there for ten dollars, up to fourteen dollars, depending on the firearm. So they're they're not cheap posters. They're really um, nice and uh, polished on the inside. And what I'll do is just to make sure I didn't get any roughness in there, I'll take a rag with some um, alcohol and make sure none of it got on the tip. But I think it came out pretty cool for literally $22. You know, you go to some place, they charge you freaking $50, $60 to have a holster with some type of design. All right, YouTube, that's what I got for right now. I'm going to be making another video. Stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a, my M&P Shield uh, 9mm Plus. So I want to thank you for watching. Can you uh, please like, subscribe? And share my videos. Like I said before my other videos. I stopped making them for about a year. I have health issues. But I'm back. Thank God. And you know, this is for my entertainment. And you know, if I can do something to have something for people to watch. And I can grow my channel back the way it was. It will be pretty cool. Alright guys. God bless you and have a blessed day.